today topic of discussion fibroadenoma fibroadenoma is a benign fibrosic tumor benign fibrosic tumor um, there are two type of proliferation there is glandular proliferation as well as stromal proliferation therefore the name is fibrosic tumor and now this stromal proliferation occur from that uh, intralobular stroma you see this this one is the main duct this one is the terminal then the terminal is now attached to that lobules this these are the things are lobules between this uh, the whole unit name is called as terminal duct lobular unit whole unit terminal duct lobular unit now that stroma which is involved in the case of fibroid uh, intralobular stroma so here two type of things interlobular unit between these two lobe is present that means interlobular unit the stroma just around between that lobe here between the two space between the two space is presented that one name is called as intralobular stroma so that one intralobular stroma uh, however the stroma which is just around that lobes and the between the space uh, between this space uh, will be intralobular stroma so this is the tumor in which there is a proliferation of the stroma of that uh, intralobular stroma when we talk about that stromal tumor of that breast we have two stromal tumor of intralobular stroma uh, this is the fibro, uh, fibroadenoma and phyllide uh, here we discussing this fibroadenoma so there are two type of stromal tumor of uh, intralobular fibroadenoma and fibroid here we want to discuss this fibroadenoma only now how does the patient present now this is the most common breast tumor of that adolescent and young age in totally also it is the most common breast tumor it is a type of stromal tumor it is a type of stromal tumor so this occur mostly in adolescent and young women especially around that age of 20 to 25 uh, this is the age and how does the patient present patient will present with the uh, plain form mass uh, which is very small in size mostly it is less than three centimeter most mostly it will around one to two centimeter only but in some cases it can also grow to large in size but mostly it uh, it is around less than three centimeter it is uh, a very painless mobile uh, slow growing mass which can be solitary one can be there it can be multiple also it can be bilateral also it is also given that name breast mouse uh, because of how mobile is there uh, so this is given the name as breast mouse uh, this fibroadenoma is a yeah, hormone sensitive type of tumor that means during pregnancy this will increase in size and after menopause it will decrease size now going to that morphology uh, if we see crossly so if we receive any specimen of lafectomy lofectomy so this one um, that specimen of cancer okay specimen of lofectomy of that fibroadenoma so how will it look like so this is a sharply circumscribed and freely movable tumor 
sharply circumscribed and freely movable tumor now this is not totally um, encapsulated it is circumscribed circumscribed it is well circumscribed tumor and it has very uh, a feel of rubbery feel of rubbery why it is rubbery because it has a very prominent stromal component it have very prominent stromal component the, uh, therefore the consistency is rubbery uh, and one thing is important um, is when you cut the tumor when you cut the tumor there will bulge uh, above around the tissue they just bulge and if there they were contained in a space they will bulge out and they will also containing slit like space so it have slit like space you can see over here you can see over here um, slit like space uh, this will also be present then going to microscope now in microscope again if you uh, see it well circumscribed tumor it is not capsulated um, it is this one is not capsulated is encapsulated but it is very well circumscribed as we already told that it is a biphasic tumor that means there is two part uh, there is a glandular part and there is a stromal part now stromal part is there almost the uniform cellularity presented in that normal patient uh, normal patient normal part but uh, what about that glandular part now the glandular part if we discussing there are two type of growth pattern so in glandular uh, part two type of growth pattern if you see over here two type of pattern in this diagram you can see two growth pattern now one is this one is the intra canicular intra canalicular type and then this very um, canalicular type two type intra canalicular and very canalicular type so what happened intra canalicular type in this one the stroma uh, grow and pushes the gland into formation of that linear branching system so formation of linear branching system it uh, uh, it will compresses the gland therefore that lumen of the gland will not be visible however this uh, peri can Canalicular, pericanalicular, uh, this type, you can see the gland, there is not compressed so much here, not compression. So, not compressed so much. So, this uh, particular type, we have two part, you have intracanalicular and in which this gland compressed into that linear branching structure. Uh, by that poly fatty in this uh, very canalicular we have that gland they retain their open lumen so one more thing to remember because it is benign tumor and there be there will be intact myoepithelial cell layer also present now types types will uh, depends upon that certain things um, there is a type is known as juvenile fibroadenoma now what does it mean juvenile verse um, juvenile stand for young population so sometimes you can see fibro uh, fibroid number in very young population like 15 to 20 years of that age even 13 year of age uh, so that term is known as juvenile fibro 
adenoma uh, here growth of the tumor can be in more it is benign totally benign but uh, uh, the term is given juvenile fibroadenoma then um, there is a term there is a complex fibroadenoma it stand uh, stand whenever you see any cystic area inside that fibroadenoma uh, that is a fibrocytic like changes which are presented in that fibroadenoma then you have cellular fibroadenoma now that cellular fibroadenoma is given when the stromal hypercellularity is seen so much should have a uniform cellularity in case of fibroadenoma but if there is hypercellularity then the word, cell, uh, word cellular fibroadenoma can be used now such if we talk uh, that this fibroadenoma is totally benign but it does not increase any risk of carcinoma of that breast but uh, sudden things such as if there is cellular uh, fibroadenoma present in the later age so these are common features which should be cautions there uh, they have slight increase in the risk of that breast carcinoma treatment any visible deformities are such then the patient goes for conservative treatment however uh, if the size is big or there is sudden other problem then local excision can also be done so this is all about fibroadenoma thanks for watching so in this video discussed been uh, this fibroadenoma this one is the benign biphasic tumor so stromal proliferation only we want to discuss two type of tumor fibroid and fibroadenoma here we are discussing fibroadenoma then clinical presentation a pressed mouse appearance then microscopic appearance intracanalicular pericanalicular then types then treatment thanks for watching